Hey there friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna White and today more God of War. It's going to be Godsome? I was gonna say awesome but then I was like does Godsome make sense because it's God of War and then I thought you know what no that doesn't make sense but I had already said it so now it's been said. Today's gonna be a Godsome episode. Anyways, take a second to like the video before we begin and we'll get on to it. Enjoy! Okay, only two. So, what is this place? This is Odin's. I'd recognize his atrocious taste anywhere. Interesting. So... Well, if this is Odin's, let's definitely smash everything in here. I don't know if this is the way to go. I actually just saw a tweet today that was like, there's two paths in a video game. One leads to treasure, the other is the story. You wanna take the treasure one first, but which one is which? I don't know. They both look the same. Ah ha ha ha, a treasure behind this door indeed. I think this is where Odin brought all his best clues about Jotunheim. I see. Lore added, huh? The search for any trace of the Jotunheim Tower remains fruitless. Not only Midgard, but in all realms in which the tower once stood, there is now only a mystic echo of what was. Had it been destroyed by might, some remnant would remain, but this magical vestige suggests magical means. It must exist somewhere. Our horde of loyal spies continues to grow. I cannot doubt someday we will find it wherever it may be hidden, the Raven Keeper. What did we get? Eye of the Outer Realm. Bonus to all stats? What kind of bonus are we talking here? <gasps> Seven. The perfect number. Look, I have to place this on a slot that was luck plus 10. So I am going to be losing three points on luck, but I'm going to be gaining the perfect number on everything else. And I think that's really worth it. I think that's really worth it. How exciting. Get out of here, Odin. Get out of here, Odin stuff. All right, we went the treasure chest route. Now we go the story route. Here we go. I want a nice big library of scrolls like this one day. Something about it is so romantic. Look at that! It's the missing panel about here. Odin must have stolen it. But why? He always has his reasons. Might I have a he seems to have a beef with the giant, big time. Wow, this is most unexpected. Why? What does it mean? I haven't the foggiest. Isn't that unexpected? Good. Look, clearly that's Tyr. Traveling somehow, perhaps magically. But what's that to do with the giants that they should devote a shrine to it? I'm afraid that is none too clear. What are those rooms in the corners? Not runes. Symbols from different lands. They mean... War. Aye. How do you... This one I know too well. God of War! That's the symbol! Oh. His eyes. They are jewels. Like yours. No doubt signifying the gift of sight the giants granted us. Give me a closer look. Interesting. Uh -huh. Very interesting. What is that? Secret 
plans concealed by Tyr so none could access but him, and those few others the giants trusted. And right under Odin's nose, ho ho ho, I did promise I'd get you to Jotunheim. What do you mean, Ed? You said we were out of options. Don't you see, brother? Odin never gave up hope, and neither should we. He knew there was a clue in here, but we're the ones who found it. These plans are for a key to some chamber Tears kept hidden. I don't know where it's leading or what we'll find, but it's a path. How do we make this key? I suggest we ask a dwarf. If only we knew a couple of those. That symbol on the temple door. It's a bunch of rooms together. Peace, unity, hope. Other things too. Tears own design. He made this door himself. Interesting. The plot thickens. I guess we still have a path to Jotunheim. A. Eh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, there's no door here, so I assume this is the only path forward. Off we go, then. Boy. Before, when you saw... I didn't see anything. You did not see me with someone. An old man. What old man? Can we go? Yes. Very well. Interesting. So... Right, let's get back to Midgard and see about making that key. Two options. Two options here. Atreus has finally discovered some discretion and is trying to help his father save face because he knows that was one of his father's most shameful moments, perhaps. Or Atreus didn't actually see it, even though Kratos definitely saw Atreus's and we both saw Baldur's. I think Atreus is trying to help Kratos here. Would be my guess. I think the panel's on the other side. Do 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 do. To return to Midgard, press triangle. Now, Head, why did you not tell us Baldur is the son of Freya? He is! It's shocking every time I hear it, and yet obviously I know it. When I think about Baldur and Freya. The I... mayor? Yes, lad. <laughs> Freya. How's that, brother? Ed, tell me Baldur's vulnerability. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Wait, what is happening? He is bewitched not to speak of what he knows. I am? I am! Oh, that's it precisely. I wonder how long that's been so. Since she had my head at her mercy, or back when I figured out Baldur's weakness. I'm here. Yes, lad. You just said you figured out Baldur's weakness. Did I? But <laughs> Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. <sighs> Enough. This means there is a way. If he troubles us again, we will find it. That is a very funny exchange. So Mimir has been bewitched by Freya to protect Baldur. 
and he can't speak of some things. That's very funny. Can you make it? Is it a weapon? Not a hello, Armor, Kratos. Or likewise an instrument of war, of which I'm a master at shaping. No? Then forget it. Even if I wanted to make such an insignificant goo I'm liable to chink my tools working on something so delicate and ladylike. A goo -gaw. <gasps> Pattern well the item with scaps like. Keep the layers thin. Alternate the overlay. Okay, smart guy. And where do you propose to find a lump of quality scap slag? Last time I saw one, I could still get rigid down south. Brock. Shut your mouth. Is that... Where did you... I had to get my hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Hey, let's do this. What? You? You're fine with working on something that's not a weapon? Oh, hell, why not? <laughs> what? I can grow too. Oh, what? Watch the spine. How did keep they? Your wrist loose. No, you keep your wrist loose. Yeah, I need more heat here. Coming up. You gonna temper that steel longer? I don't need to. I triple quenched it with Draugr oil. See, how inventive and sanitary. Look at Treus's smile. You clever little beaver. Never too late to learn a new trick, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. Here it is. Nope. Don't forget this. Where did he pull that out from? It's steaming hot like that. No, oh, quit your grinning. It's downright unsettling. <laughs> it's just nice to see He's you. He's so know. happy. But now the rune on your brand looks different. Yeah, price of uh, reforging something what broke. Oh. You two love each other. Oh. Or cut it out, Francis. You're gonna get me all weepy. I like the new one better. Don't you? We have work to do. Kratos is like, I am tired of this, though. You're wearing gloves. No. Shake his hand. Oh my gosh. What? I need that An exchange. For I'm up for you. If you're smart, you'll find him. What an exchange. Something else we can do for you? Ma, no, just glad you guys worked it out. Ah. Well, I could say the same to you. <laughs> I guess I was getting a bit full of myself. Told him what he needed a to bit? hear, how's it sounds to me. Just the same. I'm sorry for how I spoke to you, Sindri. You forgive me? Already have. Like you said, it all worked out. Now, let us get back to work before I get... Sentimental. Curious, because the last thing that Atreus said to Sindri was... So what'd you find out? I'm so tired of hearing about you little people and your little problems. And then the next thing you see Sindri and Brock have forgiven each other. This whole huge long feud that they had has been healed. And I am curious, even though Atreus was extremely rude to say what he said, I wonder if Sindri heard, you know, what you and your brother are going through, that's a little problem. That's not a big problem. There are big problems in this world, but this isn't one of them. So I wonder if that gave them the courage to reconvene. Let bygones be bygones. Unsure. Okay, what do we have? What are our choices here? First of all, we need to buy a resurrection stone for sure now. This resurrection, resurrection Stone revives Kratos with full rage and small health. This one revives Kratos with a large amount of health. I kind of like the large health better, but I know that rage also regens health. So I'm going to go with it even though it's expensive and it's not my favorite. Okay. 
Okay. What is next? Maybe craft? See if we can craft something interesting. Okay, so here we have so many options for gold armor that I think would be great before we fight Valkyries, but we don't have the smoldering embers or the mist echoes or the Nifahum alloys or the Ivaldi's rusted armor, which I think some of that, maybe the smoldering ember at least comes from the side quests that we can do. Um, which is what Brock mentioned when he was like, I would need that alchemist so I can make something up for you. So I think it might be good to kind of engage with those now if we have the opportunity. Hmm. Because I like these other things. I just don't know if I want to commit any resources to them right now when if we might just unlock something more powerful after the quest is over so we can't upgrade the axe but we can upgrade the chaos flame the blades of chaos with the chaos flame which is great and we can't upgrade anything that we're actually wearing and we can't upgrade our handles and we can't upgrade our talisman. So I think we're set with that. Yeah. I think we're set. We let's see if we have some artifacts. No. No artifacts. All right then. Now what else do I want to do? I don't know. Was there something else? No? All right then. Now we just need to figure out what door this key opens. It has to be somewhere around the temple. Oh, that's right. We can unlock some Blades of Chaos abilities. Switch stances. Ugh, I'm not good with the switching stances thing. The Spear of Chaos attack creates a minor fire explosion on contact. I love that. While aiming, charge the blades even further. Yeah, I like that too. I gotta remember to use that. It's so fun. Okay. Anything else? Wow, Atreus is like almost maxed out here. This will max Atreus out. Fantastic, look at Atreus. Being so helpful all the time. Anything fun here? I don't know, maybe I would use this. Let's see, maybe we'll activate it on accident. Definitely not evading or switching stances though. Let's see, any of these might be helpful. That might be good. Yeah, let's do one of these. Oh, rage combat might be good to unlock. Quick stomp, perhaps? So this is hold R1, hold, press R1, hold R1, and then continue pressing R1. I think I can probably remember that. Unlock those. I don't know if I'll remember to do L1. Let's try it. What does this do? Sure, let's unlock it. We got it, why not? Oh, that would be fun if I could remember how to do that. That would be helpful against the Valkyries, I feel. Ooh, that would be fun. A countering blast. I like it. Let's see. Okay. So now, the whole reason we opened our map was so that we could... 
goals active favors here we go so here's the valkyries Fafnir's storeroom and the Volunder mine. So find Brock's friend or what's left of him, the alchemist friend and Vari at the Volunder mines. Father isn't big on helping people for no reward, but Brock did just give us the entry stone of the mines. Maybe we should look into it. So this, so we could do a rare talisman or a rare pommel. Let's do the rare pommel. Enter the Volunder mines. So we're tracking this now. So it seems to be... Kind of that way? Maybe we can actually look up where it is on the map. Yeah, over here. Oh no, that's Gulvig's bones. Fafnir Shrine. Valunder Mines. Okay, so it's in... I don't know, that way? Let's just get on a boat and see what happens. Oh, you're right. Now that we got the key, we can open that big door anytime we want. Let's explore. Uh, that's the whole goal, Atreus. We are exploring. We're going. We're wandering. We seem to be following our tracked path. Oh, okay. the bull under mine. Obviously, the castle. The Odin okay. Blast. But how did Fran up the hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness. Tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last she broke it off. I'll pick this up later. Interesting. Odin doesn't seem like the nicest god. Now I know Kratos would be like, all gods are bad, but I don't know. Like Freya seems pretty chill compared to Odin so far. I thought Atreus didn't make it on to the uh, the elevator with us. So good, 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 good that he did. Okay, I see. So we have here two paths that diverge in a wood. Mm hmm. That's the fast travel portal. I'm hearing a very odd noise. Oh, well, that would explain that. That's not the same noise it makes other places. That's really rude. Hmm. I can't remember if I have to, like, touch this to activate it, so I'm just gonna activate it anyway. Did you all hear earlier when Brock called something a Guga? And I thought, Final Fantasy XIV, glorious Gugas. Couldn't help myself. There's too many references. What is this? Oh, is this bones? What is it? Oh, it's just silver. Fantastic. It's rather dark. Yeah. Boy. Ooh. Claustrophobia. Aha, what do we have here? Boy. Ah, I was wondering about this. Were you? Well now, I'm curious as well. Through this path lies the mines of Volunder. This great endeavor was made possible by Andvari the Alchemist, son of Ivaldi. 
through whose ingenuity the very stone and bedrock was turned from obstacle to mighty tool of industry, a dwarven miner's greatest fear has always been running afoul of the ancients. But through Antvari's genius, they are now no more than tools in our righteous undertaking. A new age for dwarves dawns here. No mere miners, but masters of iron, whose greatest craft is the future itself. Seems a little hubris. Sure that won't bite them in the butt. <laughs> I'm sure it won't. No, could. Ooh, more claustrophobia. Good stuff. Here we go. Hey, I know you. Scare up that alchemist what needed finding? What? That's the whole point I'm here for. What? Better not be fighting with your brother again. Just because he's gotten a little less annoying over the years doesn't mean I ain't got a customer base of my own to keep happy. Oh, yeah? Are we your only customer base? Well, you came back here, didn't you? Fair point. Yeah, we're the only customers. Okay. What do we have here? Can you read it? Sir, uh, these runes read death inside. Okay. Not terrifying at all. Not at all. Find the dwarf with a green ring, huh? Okay. So, we're on a mission. Said his friend was dwarven like him. Wearing a green ring. Look if you wish. I will be gathering resources for our journey. You don't want to help him? No. Why not? Because I do not run errands for dwarves. Oh. Okay, Kratos, chill a little bit. Eh, we'll save that for now cuz you never know when you might need to drop some fire on an enemy. That kills us. That's it. No Valhalla. No hell. No after Ever. It does not attack. Ah. Oh. Mom made them sound more dangerous than that. Then do not drop your guard. Come. Hmm. Curious how it looks just like an ancient. <laughs> Like the Frost Ancients. Ooh, we got some custom music in here. Here we go. Got some hack silver in this room. Good. What else we got in here? Focus up. Okay, some of these. Good. That's hilarious. How many times? Can I just like swing this all over you? <laughs> That's hilarious. Ah, let my shield down at just the wrong moment. We go i remembered the thing all right i'm picking up some new combat skills not bad God. soul leader got him must have been part of that alchemist crew it does make me feel glad that that battle wasn't too hard because i do feel like then we're appropriately leveled for this quest which is fantastic I want to get up there. There's a chest up there. I want it. Hmm. Seems like not for today. At least not for right now. Hey, 
you can't be down there. That's cheating. How can your floor arrows come up here? That's totally cheating. Oh my god. Well, it worked out for me in the end. But let it be known, that was kind of a cheap trick, Revenant. Aha! Ha ha! You thought you could hide from me, treasure chest. But you couldn't. You could not. Not him. I thought you didn't care. I noticed the lack of ring while looting the body. Sometimes oh. you just gotta loot the body, you know? I, I trust you to take care of this. There you go. There you go, Atreus. Sometimes I just didn't want to handle it, you know? Take. Okay. Got some scale fragment. Good Boy. stuff. Got yes, some sir. lore, it looks like. Another map. I bet we'll find something useful here. A treasure map. Hmm. Okay. Looks like a fallen statue of a person. Interesting. Okay. Fantastic. And look what we get out of it. Some more silver, some more stuff to smash, and... What? Wasn't there a chest? Is it down there? That right there, my dear friends, is where we have to end today's episode. I know you're just aching for more. I know it's been a long time since we've started this playthrough, but we are finishing it up. It's really happening and more, more goodness to come. I can't wait to see what happens. It's been so long and I'm so excited for God of War Ragnarok. Anyways, take a second to like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. And of course, please remember to subscribe to Strange Rebel Gaming so you don't miss the next video. Very important. That's all. I love you all.